Hi there, it's Roland at Getting It Done North of 7 with yet another Suzuki Iger fix. Another fix on my ATV. This ATV has been giving me issues for about two weeks now. And the first problem was the fuel petcock. I changed the petcock. I did a video on that. And uh, it got it fixed. It was working good. And now I had a problem, not now, but after that, with all within two weeks, I had a problem with my starter. So I took my starter off and took it apart and checked the brushes. The brushes wore right, wore right out. I ordered new uh, brushes for the starter, installed them. Works like a charm now. So I did a little plowing around the yard. It worked great. Yesterday I come in the garage, go to take out my ATV, and... It, it started, it ran good, and then it died. And then it was uh, a bit hard to get started. But then I got it going. It runs great as long as you keep your thumb on the throttle. As soon as you let off, it idles for like a couple seconds and it shuts off. So, I figure I have a carburetor problem as well. But I, I took out my spark plug. And it was all carboned up and black. And that is an indicator that... The carburetor or the engine is running rich and the the carburetor has something to do with that. I'll show you a picture of my um, my spark plug. So here's the spark plug out of the ATV. As you can see, it's all carboned up. I don't know how good this is focusing, but it's all carboned up. It's just gooped up bad, so... I, uh, I'm going to go out and get a new spark plug and we're going to take the carburetor off the, the ATV and take it apart, clean it up and see what's going on there and make any fixes that I have to. So here I am, I'm getting the carburetor out. I, um, I took off a vent line and I, I unattached the carburetor from the air box hose and to the intake of the cylinder head so now I just have to undo the coach <laughs> the choke cable and the throttle cable and I get this carburetor out of here but you, as you can see it's a tight squeeze in there it's not easy getting it out because it's there's hardly any room to work but we'll get it done okay so the carburetor is back in the ATV so what I did was I took the carburetor apart cleaned everything and one of the jets you know I don't know if you've ever seen the jet inside of a carburetor but there's little holes that go through so your jets like this and there's little holes that go through here I stuck a very very fine wire in the hole and it wouldn't go in it kept it was being restricted from going in finally what it was was a piece of dirt that probably you know came through the gas and finally it gave and it went through the holes. So I made sure I cleaned all the holes. The whole carburetor is clean, put back together. And now everything is back and running. The one thing though we had to do was adjust the carburetor. Had to adjust that jet because when I first started it up, it, it, ran, it, it wasn't running that good. So I played with the adjustment a little bit on that needle and it started running good and then I took it for drives and I would be in like fourth or fifth gear full out and it would start hesitating like pop, pop. you know it just didn't have that full drive so there was probably a fuel or air mixture issue so I just adjusted that needle again kept adjusting it kept testing it and finally we got it right and uh, it's running really good now I'll fire it up for you so you could see because it wouldn't even start good before, and it definitely wouldn't idle, unless I had my thumb on the throttle, give it a bit of throttle. But now, it's not a problem. So there you can see, it's idling really good now. Put the sides back on. Probably tomorrow. I've had enough of this for one day. Because like I said, I had I had
has been. Um, pet cock issue. I changed the pet cock. I had to change the brushes inside the starter. And then the carburetor was an issue. So hopefully that's it. <laughs> that should be it. Everything's good now. And the one thing that's a pain in these things is when you start working on these, you're getting a carb out, you're getting a carb in, you have to take your carb out of this intake to the cylinder head. You have to take it off of the hose that goes into your air box. Everything is such a tight squeeze and you got to get your hands in there and mess around with everything. It's a real pain. So just be patient and try to do the best you can. Oh yeah, so what was going on was my spark plug was black, all carboned up. And that meant it was running too rich. So I also put a brand new spark plug in it as well. So if you're having any issues with it, just yeah, like I said, leave me a comment below. You can ask questions in the comments. Usually I'll reply within 24 hours, but usually it's quicker than that. Way quicker than that. And uh, I'd be glad to help you if I can. So if this video helped you, hit the like button, hit subscribe. And hopefully we don't have any more ATV fixes for a while. See you on the next video.